can hear, in my opinion, it's not good. It, 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 other people said it, and we just, I just know it. And, and, and he uses fake comments on Instagram. <laughs> where, where did you say he's not good? Yeah, 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 Chelsea, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, well, one thing I wanted to mention as well earlier, um, I was going to mention it, but I went off track. Um, I was watching this this podcast, I think they call it a podcast or whatever, isn't it, yeah? And um, there was one guy, right, they were talking about reparations or, or they were talking about like oppression to black people and stuff like that, isn't it, yeah? And one of the guys was like, yeah, man, I was working at TGI Fridays for six years and I never got a promotion as a manager. And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself, this guy is insane, right? You are missing the point. My, the point is, why are you working at TGI Friday for six years? But man, just don't get it. They, 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 you, you really have something wrong with you. If, you. if you are worried about getting a job promotion and becoming a manager at TGI Fridays, you need to reevaluate, like, what you're doing in it, yeah? Like, why are you working at TJ Fridays for six years? That should just be six months. Get yourself on track and then bust out. Now, if you're a uni student, that's cool, whatever, in it, yeah? But there, there needs to become a time when you're like, you know what, yeah? This job, yeah, I can do much better than this rather than trying to progress to become a manager. If you become a manager at TJ Fridays, you're probably going to earn a few more pounds more than the people on the shop floor, yeah? But man just don't get it, and they use their colour as an excuse to fail, yeah? and an excuse to, to not prosper, isn't it? Yeah? Like, I don't know, what, what would you think about being black and being oppressed or whatever, isn't it? Yeah? Like, well, just honest opinion. Yeah? yeah, this is my honest opinion. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I don't think black people are as oppressed as people make out to be. Yeah. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I know so much black people who are dark skinned and they make tons of money, they they, 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 they put their job up and they have their own businesses. So I think it's weird how people are making this. I think a lot of people are saying, oh, we're oppressed, they want you to come when they're doing their life, they're not really doing anything in their life. Exactly. Exactly. It's just, it's just an excuse. It's just an excuse, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's just an excuse, man. The, the, the only thing that is oppressed is your mind. That is it. It's, it's all about the mindset, right? You see me, right? You see the average black person walking around, they feel like they're oppressed or whatever, innit? Yeah, but they don't realize, right? They're the same as me. If they took my brain and put my brain in someone else's body, that person would have drive, that person would have ambition, that person wouldn't think that, oh, because I'm a certain color, I can't get anywhere, innit? Yeah? It's all about the mindset. Yeah. It's got nothing to do with colour. People need to realise that in life you are going to fail. Yeah, it's the inevitable. Yeah, no matter what you do, right, you're gonna fail at some occasions, right. But then they, what they do is they think it's because they're black. No, because there's plenty of white people, Turkish people, Greek people, Indian people failing. Everyone fails, yeah? but black people they just use that as an excuse and. It's, it's, it's oh, maybe like back in the day, like our grandparents or whatever, um, you know, 50s, 60s, whatever, and like, you know, people in the 70s. Yeah, maybe things were a bit tougher back then for black people and stuff like that. But 2020, the millennials, no, fam. It's too easy out here. Me, like, that's why I never like try to make out, oh, you know, I've had to work so hard to get what I've got. I, I ain't. I've just studied hard and that, yeah, I've put in the work, or whatever, in here, but. To get a house or whatever, it was easy, man. I just made sacrifice. It's not difficult out here, man. It's just your mindset. If you go into it with the mindset that, oh, I'm black, oh, I can't get anywhere in this workplace, then you're never going to achieve nothing, man. You're never going to achieve nothing. Yeah, and I think, in my opinion, like, black people are more used to being oppressed than black people are used to being Blood 
it, it's a debt to your finances, a debt to your time. That time that you're investing, spending time with your girlfriend, right? You're not getting nothing out of it. Now, don't get it twisted, right? Obviously, yeah, it's good to, you know, have companionship, whatever, yeah, but that can't be your main focus. Now, I don't know if you, you probably didn't see, yeah, yeah, because you asked me what the video was about or whatever, innit, yeah? And basically, I started off um, during, like, the main bit when I said go to the one hour and 40 mark, where I believe I started. I was talking about, there's men out here, right? Friday night, they go to their girlfriend's house and their girlfriend is even at work and they're just sitting in their girlfriend's house waiting for their girlfriend to come back, not achieving a damn thing. I know he's not sitting there on a laptop editing his book or making no YouTube videos or anything like that or trading, nothing. A man sitting there on a Friday night waiting for his girl to come back from work, which will be early hours of Saturday morning, and then Saturday and Sunday just chilling at his girlfriend's house, just doing nothing, drinking beer and smoking cigarettes, and that's it. And a man will do that every single week. And then these people grow up and wonder why when they're 70 years old, they're freezing in their house because they can't afford to pay their utility bills. That's why. That's why. But they just don't get it. Like... I'm not saying man for not have a girlfriend or whatever in it, yeah, but you need to cut down that that time. You cannot be underneath your girl 24 seven. And what they need to realize as well is if you want to keep your girl attracted to you, then the less time you spend with her, the more she's going to be attracted to you. The more time you spend with her, the least, the least she's going to be attracted to you because you're not presenting yourself as a scarce resource. Now, you shouldn't be doing it as some kind of game. You should generally be busy, yeah, hobbies and making your life better, or whatever, investing in yourself, whatever in it. Yeah, you shouldn't be no game, but you should have limited time. And your girlfriend will value your time more, the time that you spend together more, if it's limited, if it's more scarce. But these guys just don't get it, man. And then going deeper than that. As I said earlier, like, you know, go back to the one hour and 40 mile, I broke it down. There's a lot of men out here who commit suicide because they they revolve, they revolve their whole life around their girl. There was one man, um, my little sister has a cousin and um, her friend, uh, uh, mum passed away, right? So a little girl's mum passed away and the dad committed suicide. Well, hold on a minute. Forget about how you felt about your wife passing away, yeah? You you have a dependent, a child, 10, 11 years old, yeah, a little nipper, yeah? You're going to take your life away. And I'm telling you right now, I know it's because he felt lonely without the woman. And I could put strong money on it that if one of his parents passed away, he would not have committed suicide. Because the problem is men devote their life to their missus, right? And that's not the way it's supposed to go. It should be the other way around. Our, our girlfriends or whatever partner, whatever, should be hanging around waiting for us, yeah? They should be asking us, oh, when are you coming home from work or whatever? Or when can we see each other next? Not, oh, when can I see you? That man, man, are, man are going down the wrong route, man. And this, this is why certain men can never be successful because they're not willing to make that sacrifice, man. Yeah, as I said earlier as well, I said this earlier, it's a distraction. It's a flipping distraction having a boyfriend, girlfriend, and that. I'm not saying don't, you know, girls don't have a boyfriend, guys don't have a girlfriend. I ain't saying that, but I'm saying it's a distraction. Definitely, man. It takes you away from, you know, making something of your life or, you know, investing that time in your life, man. You think you can see yourself having a kid and having girlfriends and getting married? No, nah, definitely not. They're definitely not getting married. From... <laughs> definitely not. Like, me, I don't need to like witness. Uh, sorry, I don't need to experience certain stuff to know that's not the route. Yeah. Now, before back in the day, I probably would have got married, but I always had it in my brain: prenup, prenup, prenup. But I even heard. Yeah, I don't know how true this is. Yeah, I even heard. Even when you sign a prenup, a woman is still entitled to something. Apparently, isn't it? how true that is, I don't know. But I've heard too many. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I've heard many horror stories where men have been cleaned out. Like, literally, the woman may as well have taken the carpet with them as well. No, sorry, they, they get the whole house. Like, there's certain men right now, certain men who they're paying off a mortgage for a property and they're not living in there. And the woman has moved another man in. He's not working. He's got his feet up, me on the coffee table, literally, you know, and he's living for free in your own house. 
and and then in, so basically the man had to move out and go and live in a one bed bed sit like a hostel type of whatever in it yeah or live in a shared accommodation so yeah yeah I, you know i love to have children and stuff like that but i'm not getting married fam. i'm not getting married Trust me, fam. 